and now we go to the image correction the first image correction will be the radiometric correction so what's the purpose of the radiometric corrections the purpose is to ensure the accuracy in the relationship between the radiant flux leaving a surface and radiant flux recorded by a sensor I mean to say they want we want to make sure that whatever electromagnetic energy the intensity that being reflected and recorded by sensor it must be almost the same okay so the uh, internal radiometric errors include the sensor malfunction and improper calibration and another one will be the external radiometric errors which include the atmospheric effects we we can fix it with the atmospheric correction not to say fix it but try to reduce the impact as much as possible and another one will be the sensor malfunction sensors sometimes simply do not operate correctly results a radiometric error uh, common forms of this type of error includes line drops such as okay, line drops strippings and line start error so take an example the first one with the line drops are caused by the detectors fail to operate during a scan okay so you see the black thing here let me color it for you this black this black as well and this black line as well okay this is a serious problem because this black doesn't mean there is zero value it means no value at all just like SPSS no value this one there's no value it's null okay this is what we call as a null value all right However, we can improve the ability to interpret the data by estimate the digital numbers for each pixels. That is, before and after the bad lines, we calculate and put some average on it just to replace the value. So that the moment we do the processing, although it is a generated value, but it will not disturb the analysis part. Another one will be the line start error caused by the detector fail to operate during scan, just like a line drop, where all of this line you see here was never been collected, no data. However, we also can estimate it almost the same like line drop, right? And another one will be the striping. If you aware that you can see this image is just like a line line with color somehow the color is not right so this is the one sensor is not responding like the others it does not represent a complete loss of data and you can try to revive it how by using this one computer first calculates for each lines are striped and after that using the mean to adjust and match with the others so this kind of image also happens in the Lenset 7 all right and of course after the uh, of course another way for the processing will be the calibrate an image to radiance so this is more into the sensor calibration it is often necessary to normalize the sensor response for example we know that higher digital numbers are brighter than the lower one. However, these numbers is no there is no units of the measurement associated with them. Therefore, makes it not it's not something that represents the intensity of the surface. Okay, we consider this. On a single image of a given band, an object exhibits a digital numbers of 100 on that particular pixel. Is twice as bright an object with a digital one of 50 all right but the response of the sensor changes over time with the solar angle thus an object with a digital numbers of 100 in a given bed acquired in 1982 is not necessarily twice as bright as object with a digital number of 50 in the same band acquired 
on the on the different year even the same 100 digital numbers of 100 different year also doesn't mean it is the same intensity why many factors cloud covers solar angle solar radiation exposure sensors degrade over time and the atmosphere atmosphere conditions this will somehow will influence the intensity of the emr therefore it is necessary to convert the digital numbers to the standardized units and this is possible by first convert the digital numbers to radians and after that to reflectance where this radians a lambda is measured in the radian flux density per unit area per solid angle which is what over meter square per solar angle or milliwatt centimeter square solar angle over the micrometer okay and radian is estimated from the remote sense data using this equation this is the equation where we will make use of the maximum detectable radiance and minimum detectable radiance and we divide it over the g number maximums of the value of the data and this is how we convert it into the radiance okay so what happened we will try to define the gain and offset and therefore from this range we are able to understand we are able to able to be able to identify right the, the radiance and thus we can standardize for every different images over the years okay and this is how we do the calibration and image to radiance okay and in the system later in the software this is what we get and the value of this gain and offset will be given in the satellite image uh, what we call it product informations and gains and offsets or bias are usually found in the header files metadata that comes with the images or .mtl file or they are published in a tabular form such as a Robinov or Markham or the Bakker and for every different kind of satellites and there is one gain and one bias value per image bands therefore every bands have different value of gain and bias and gain and biases changes over time Okay, and to calculate radiance is the first step in the calculating the reflectance right and the problems with the radiance calculation is that results values are difficult to interpret and much easier to interpret are within band reflectance numbers are they are in the percentage okay so by using the robinov right and we can calculate the red the reflectance from the image right so it could be either two where you can use either you want to use the radiant image to radiant first and then convert to reflectance in the percentage or you can also change it into from image to reflectance or using the this is the famous one by using the markham and bakker right okay 